But sex, well, it seems everyone has a social media account these days. Mascots, sure. teams, companies, and now a tree. That is correct, a tree, yeah. Uh, Harvard Forest researchers are logging onto Twitter and giving a voice to a red oak. WBC's Jacob Wyckoff headed to Peter's Ham for tonight's Eye on Earth. In the middle of a Peter Sam forest, this 87-foot northern red oak is both ordinary and remarkable. This tree looks like every other tree you've ever seen, except the tweets coming from the tree aren't from birds. Instead, its own Twitter account. The tree really likes to talk about temperature. Really hot days, really cold days. These are very meaningful for trees. Clarice Hart is the director of outreach for Harvard Forest. She's part of a team that wired up this tree with all sorts of sensors. The data collected feeds into code to make the tree talk. You have a sap flow sensor, which is showing you how liquid is moving up and down the tree. You have a growth sensor, which is monitoring growth in real time. The sensors are continuously running, helping us understand, is there a heat wave? Is there a really big rain event? These are all momentous things for trees. During our latest long heat wave, the tree was as fed up with the heat as you and me. The last two days were extremely hot for August. When is this heat wave going to end? It tweeted. This tree has a really objective lens to say, actually, this is really extreme compared to what I used to see 50 years ago. An onlooker to years of weather, it tweets under the account A Witness Tree. This is about a 100-year-old tree. Mm -hmm. It's seen some stuff. It has. What are some of the big events that this tree has seen? Yeah, so it's seen a big hurricane in 1938, which downed some of its neighbors. So we can see evidence of that in the tree because the tree grew a little more that year because suddenly it didn't have neighbors. Um, we can see evidence of a moth called the spongy moth that in the 1980s really devastated a lot of trees, but this tree stayed strong. This is a very resilient tree. And now it has a voice exactly. to be able to share that. Exactly, and it, it always surprises us. At a time when New England is losing 65 acres of forest per day to development, other witness tree projects are sprouting, including this one in Cambridge, installed a few months ago. My colleague, Tim Rademacher, his vision is an internet of trees, so many, many trees with many, many voices. We can learn a lot in real time from having trees connected to sensors. And even with a growing chorus of tweeting trees, this tree, it'll always be special to heart. I love this tree. So this tree is just an incredible um, emblem of strength and resilience, and I think it's wise. Um, and it's amazing to be able to hear this tree sharing its wisdom with us. What is the legacy that this tree will leave after you and I are gone? Absolutely. So this tree has already, you know, predated our grandparents, and it will be here after our grandkids are gone. I think that we can be humbled by that longevity. Trees will keep being witnesses, keep, keep being resilient um, into far into the future. So we have to take care of them. I'm not even being facetious. What I am learning in real time by reading the tree's tweets are fascinating. I'm going to give it a follow. All right, I'm going to do the same. Yeah, And absolutely. Jacob, we're pretty sure that the tree would concur with our feeling about this day and tweet about how beautiful this Friday was. Absolutely. In fact